Hey everyone, welcome to another live video. The narcissist has to see you as the bad guy. When they first meet you, you're perfect. Everything you do is great. It's like they can't get enough of you. You can't do anything wrong. Even if they do notice something like a fault or a mistake that you make, they'll quickly forget about it. They'll act like it isn't a big deal. They just see you as though you're perfect. Everything you do is great. But then, as time goes by, they begin to become more sensitive to everything you do. Any little thing you do wrong and sometimes you might not even do anything wrong. They just see it as though whatever you're doing isn't good enough. It's like no matter what you do, no matter how much you do for a narcissist, it's never going to be enough. As we know, there are millions and millions of people around the world who have been in relationships with narcissists and I've never heard of a single situation where anyone has ever made a narcissist happy. I've never heard of a narcissist who is satisfied. They always want more. But of course, you know, there's nothing wrong with wanting more in life. I'm not saying that. The difference is a healthy person wants more from themselves. A narcissist always wants more from the people around them. Many people think, okay, so the narcissist thinks that what I'm doing isn't good enough. That's fine. All I have to do is do more. Do more things to make them happy. Maybe help around the house a bit more. Give them more money. Whatever it is, just do more of it. And the narcissist will tell you, yes, that's what you've got to do. That's why I've been so angry towards you. Because I want you to do more. I want you to help me more. I want you to give me more money. And they'll make you believe that if you just do a little bit more, all of these problems will disappear. You won't have to deal with the rage anymore. The fly monkeys, the smear campaigns. The gossiping. But you've only got to remember, as I said earlier, there's millions and millions of people in this world who have been involved with narcissists. All kinds of people. There's people who might be in a relationship with a narcissist who says that they don't spend enough time around them. So the narcissist might manipulate them into quitting their job. But it doesn't make a difference. The narcissist will just find something else that's wrong. Or any time that you spend, like, maybe you just want to 
take some time out to take care of yourself. Maybe you need more sleep, whatever it is. They'll just complain about that. They'll be like, oh, you spend so much time sleeping. So even if you spend every second of your day with them, it's not going to be enough. And then another scenario is just think about how many narcissists there are out there who are with millionaires, even billionaires. Because those are the type of people that they target. People who are wealthy, powerful, successful. So just think about that. Think about how many narcissists are with millionaires and billionaires. And think about how much money they spend on these narcissists. I've heard plenty of situations myself of multimillionaires who have been with narcissists. And no matter how much money they spend, it's never enough. They are never satisfied. So there's two examples for you. No matter how much time you spend with them, no matter what you do for them, no matter how much money you give to them, whatever they're asking for, whatever they want more from you, you can give it to them as much as you want until you're starving, until you're dying, until you're in need. And they're still going to be miserable. It's still not going to be enough for them. And if anything, they'll just take everything that you gave to them and they'll just go find someone else and do the same thing again. It's not finally going to make them respect you. It's not going to make the argument stop. It's not going to end the rage. It's not going to end the gossiping and the smear campaigns. Because the narcissist has to see you as the bad guy. They saw you as perfect in the beginning. But as time goes by, in any relationship, whether you're with a narcissist or not, there will be complications. There will be things that go wrong. That's natural. Things go wrong in every relationship. There will be arguments and disagreements. All of these things are normal. But when things go wrong, people should accept the faults that they have made. People should accept that you're human and you have your own commitments. You've got to look after yourself too. No one's going to look after you more than you do. No one else is going to put you first. So if you don't put yourself first, you're going to be left behind. You could put a narcissist first. They're not going to put you first. No, that, that only works one way. So you put them first and you'll end up getting the short end of the stick. You'll be the one who's losing out. But, but of course they want you to put them first. They want you to spend all of your time catering to them. Making their lives easier. But that's not going to make things easier for you. Whatever happens, they have to see you as the bad guy. Because it's either you or them. When things start to go wrong, they don't want people looking at them like they've messed up again. Because you could be sure that they've had so many failed relationships. And they just see it like they already know as soon as it starts going wrong. They're thinking in their minds, oh, it's happening again. For like the fifth, tenth time in a row, they're already anticipating another failed relationship. They already know what's about to happen. So as soon as they can, the first thing they're going to do is point the finger at you and blame you for everything. And that's always a red flag. 
when someone blames you for everything, when someone tells you that you've done nothing, when someone tells you that they do everything and that they do everything right, when someone sees these things, that's when you should know that there is something grisly wrong. Because while the narcissist may have seen you as being perfect in the beginning, we all know that no one in this world is perfect. We all have flaws and imperfections. We all make faults and mistakes. And just as no one in this world is perfect, no one in this world is inherently flawed. In any situation, no one makes all of the mistakes. There's always other people who have a responsibility. There's always other people who should be holding themselves accountable. But no, the narcissist just wants to pass it all on to you. They want you to think that you're to blame for everything. When it just doesn't happen that way. They want you to think that you're inherently flawed and you're to blame for everything. When they have a responsibility, they should have been holding themselves accountable for things too. But they just want to pass it all on to you. Because in their minds, it's dualistic thinking. Everything's black or white. Everything's good or bad, right or wrong. And they have to see it as though you're wrong for them to be right. You have to be the bad guy for them to be good. That's just how they think. It's a very immature way of thinking. They're emotionally underdeveloped. And that's why when you speak to them, nothing ever gets resolved. Because they're always speaking from their own emotions rather than any logical reasoning. And whenever you try to get a point across, it's never gonna get it it's never gonna get through to them. Because most of the time they're not even hearing you. The only thing they're hearing is the narrative in their minds of what they think is going to happen if they listen to you, if they do take in your point of view. And they just can't do that because all a narcissist really wants is to get what they want. They just want everything they want from you. And they want the situation to work out in their favour. And the problem they have is that if they even begin to listen to what you have to say, the chances are they're not going to get what they want. Because they already know where they they already know that they're wrong, and that's why they don't want to entertain anything that you're saying. That's why they have this all or nothing mentality where you're to blame for everything, where you do everything wrong. Someone like that who takes no accountability for anything. That kind of person is just trying to get what they want. At any cost, they don't care about how it affects you. They don't care if they're lying. They don't care if they're being deceptive because they're self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They don't give a damn about how it affects you. There's no alcohol in this, by the way. I don't drink, I just like the taste. <laughs> but yeah, these narcissists, all they care about is what they want. That's really all it is. Every argument you have with them, most of the time they already know that they're wrong. They just don't care. 
They don't care about what's right or what's wrong. What overrides that is that they just want what they want. And that's why there's no getting through to them. Because when someone doesn't care about what's right or wrong, there's nothing you can tell them. That's why when you think you're really covering all bases, you've got all of the points, you you bring evidence to them, whatever it is, but it's never enough, it never gets through to them. It's never good enough to get them to see where you're coming from. And that's when you know that you're dealing with someone who is not of a sound mind. Hello. All right, do, do, you, do you have to work across the road? No, no, I'm not. Well, they're locking the car park now over here. All right, oh, thanks. So if you come okay. and leave now, please. All right, okay, I'll go. Sorry okay. about that. Anyway, I've got to go. I'm being kicked out of this car park now. Thank you all for joining, and I'll talk to you soon.